We're in Dublin. Had a wee bit of trouble in the airport. With immigration. And I remember that we had a wee bit of trouble with Jezebel last time we were here. More than a wee bit of trouble. Matter of fact, they asked me to come teach on Jezebel in every church in this area. Not every church, but the ones I was ministering in. And I felt like Jezebel just said hello. We're lost. Definitely lost. Been around this river three times. We're lost. Well, it's starting to get dark outside. At least I got my 10,000 steps in today. Yep, we got lost. All right, we made it to the hotel finally. I'm directly challenged. And so is Google Maps, apparently everything else in Dublin. Listen, you know, I was here before and I, like I said, Jezebel smacked me hard. So I'm going in tonight, I'm gonna smack that devil back. I was up in a green room and just really, really getting hit with massive witchcraft. Almost, almost couldn't breathe. I felt like my heart was beating through my chest. I wasn't sure how I was gonna get up and minister. I knew by faith it would work out, but I mean, my mind was under attack. My body was under attack and all this condemnation was coming and then sure enough I got into the pulpit and it just ripped wide open that spirit bowed and it's gonna bow again today because it probably wants a showdown a round two a rematch and it's got one because this spirit likes to manifest in the nations of the earth the spirit has many faces many names and uh, it's all over the place. I can sense it. I sensed it as soon as I came in. Here's the lesson for you. You know, if you have a battle with anything, whether it's addiction, whether it's uh, a, a, a natural enemy, you know, we have to remember we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but whatever you're battling against, it'll come back at an opportune time. You'll have to battle it again. It's usually not a once and for all battle. At the least, you'll face temptations. But when you discern that old enemy creeping back in, what you want to do is, bam, punch it, punch it hard, punch it repeatedly until it bows. So that's what I'm doing tonight. It's going to be a great time. I'm excited about it. I got to get a wee snack before the meeting. So I'll see you on the other side. Now, this is Pastor Ebar. She's one of our prayer leaders from Israel. Mm -hmm. Woo! Israel and uh, just pray and ask God to bless the meeting with Come, come quickly. African, anybody here from Asian descent? Asian, 
Come on, quickly. Asian. There you go. Anybody else? Am I missing any nation that's present? Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland. <laughs> <laughs> All right, either put your arm on there or make contact, physical contact with the person next to you in some way. Look at this. This is what God wants to do. It's not about nationality. We are of kingdom people. Come on. Our citizenship is in heaven. It doesn't matter if we're black or white or brown or yellow. It doesn't matter what color we are, what nation we're from. Right here in this room tonight, we have enough people to turn this nation upside down. Amen. For the glory of God. I'm talking about a righteous revolution. Amen. Not natural violence, kingdom violence. Amen. The kingdom of, of the God suffers violence. But the violent take about what? Oh, Jesus. I'll go back to America. <laughs> the violent take about what? Oh, that's more like it. Amen. All right. In the name of Jesus, I thank you. Everybody pray in the spirit. Oh, thank you, Lord. amazing to see Pastor Inbar from Israel who flew over to Ireland and really blessed the nation. I mean, Sharon, the pastor there, told me this was the first time they'd ever had Hebrew prayer in their church. So what a blessing. I mean, I know many of you who follow me understand the blessing of blessing Israel. And so uh, that was a wonderful, wonderful way to start the meeting. Really one of the thrills of my heart to see people come together and bless one another because we're all kingdom. Uh, and the, the prophetic act with the, all the nations represented. I mean, so many nations represented here in Ireland. I think I, I heard there was 185 different nationalities here. And to come together in unity, to pray for revival, to pray for the nation, it just thrills my heart. So I say mission accomplished. Another thing that happened was I was I was there trying to close the meeting and you know they don't respond the same way here as they do back at my church. At my church they shout me down. Here they're a little bit more reserved and I just had this word of knowledge. This is a little uh, old lady dressed in blue 
and I began to prophesy word of knowledge. I said, you're a mighty warrior. You are mighty anointed. You are uh, wonderful. You should be praying for me. You are, you've got the spirit of God all over you. And I, I share this. I prophesied this to her and encouraged her. Well, she tur it turns out she's a charismatic Catholic nun. And she's been coming to that church to hear speakers like Dr. Sharon Stone. And she came up to me. She was, so now when I was prophesying, when I was releasing these words of life, she was not giving in. She didn't look like she was receiving it. And I just kept saying it over and over. She didn't seem as if it were, if it was saying, that's why you can't go by what people look like or their response. You go by what you feel in the spirit, the, the, the word of the Lord, the anointing of God. Well, she came up to me afterwards and, and grabbed my hands and said, ah. she goes, when you said the woman in the blue, I was looking around, who else is wearing blue? Because she couldn't believe it. She said she had been so burned out and so torn down and she had been discouraged and she said, I couldn't believe you were talking about me. She said, that really encouraged me. And so that's just a, a great testimony. You know, she's a Catholic, charismatic Catholic, spirit filled, praying in tongues. And she really was touched by that word. And if I had, you know, gone by, you know, what she looked like, her face, you know, she didn't look like she was receiving it. Uh, I might have not been blessed by her coming up to me. She grabbed my hand so hard. I mean, I've never felt <laughs> she had, she had uh, uh, Iron Man strength and she just grabbed me so hard and thanked me. And that's what ministry is about. You know, you never know who you're going to touch. You never know what the Holy Spirit's going to do. And I say mission accomplished here in Ireland and uh, Dublin, rather the Republic of Ireland. And we are uh, heading to Northern Ireland. We're heading to Belfast problem is we don't have any way to get there so we were supposed to have a, a car that took us and uh, renting a car and apparently we can't find one now so I think we might have to walk I'm gonna see if I can talk prof Ness into renting a car and driving I think that would be the most hysterical thing to see her driving in Ireland because you don't know anything about her uh, but uh, well you know quite a bit but uh, hmm, she's the road manager she directs the traffic she is uh, quite a driver she drives fast, kind of like me. Anyway, let's go. I keep telling her not to use that Apple map. It has demons. Google. Well, we are not taking a rental car because I could not get her to agree. The spirit of rebellion that's in this territory has affected her mentally. Me? Look at her. You see that? That's the I'm innocent laugh. Listen to her. 